So I had an interesting conversation with friends of mine today about polarization. The undeniable fact that you can't achieve balance without two opposites, like the plus or the minus of a magnet, or the fact that what precedes success most of the time is a whole bunch of failures. In this case, what you're about to see is the result of a few attempts, failed attempts, and that kind of led me to something completely fun and creative, using the failures as a ramp to create something new. So I will stop talking <laughs> with metaphors and explain what I'm about to do. So um, I have cut the scenes prior to this experiment because I have done three. This is the third attempt. And what I had in mind was to have this piece of thread going through the design of you know different shapes that I would paint and then I would have this piece of thread going through the shapes and have the thread absorb the colors so that when everything was dry I would pull the thread away and I would see the thread because the thread will have absorbed the paint and will have distributed the paint evenly it was all really good in my head and um, I did not research anything about it. Maybe I should have, because I'm pretty sure someone has, has thought about this somewhere. I can't, I don't think that I'm a pioneer in this experiment, but being a, you know, I, I have a hard head <laughs> and I always like to figure things out on my own before I have enough failures and then go and research about whatever I'm trying to do. But in this case, I just stopped at my third attempt because I was satisfied with what came out of it. So um, I've tried different methods. I've tried painting the shapes and saturating them with a lot of paint and water and then dropping the thread over the shapes. That did not work. Um, I forget what I did on the second attempt. <gasps> Mm, I really don't know. I can't remember. Anyways, if I think about it, I, I will let you know. The third one, which is this one, I thought, okay, so maybe I should d dip the thread in paint prior to painting and then just drop the thread. <laughs> so what happened was, oh yeah, I remember now, the second attempt, I did the same thing, but I could not pull away the threads. It just became this mass because it's wet and so the pieces of thread were kind of like cozying up to each other so I created kind of like a ball <laughs> so I could not stretch it uh, so for this one here the third time I thought okay I'm gonna take a pair of tweezers and hold one end of the thread and then using my brush to kind of like run it through the pool of paint that I have and then dropping it gently <laughs> on the paper, but it did not really work. As you can see, I still have chunks of that thread here and there, but I decided enough is enough. I'm just gonna play with it. And <laughs> as you can see, the thread is sticking to my brush. <laughs> Fun times. But you know what? I thought, okay, this is the, th the last time I'm gonna try this. Let's just try to paint through the thread. The thread is wet right now. It's saturated with paint. Let's see what comes out of it. And so this is what you're about to see. I don't think I can add anything more until I pull the thread away. So <laughs> I'm going to leave you with some music.
So this is the next day. I let the piece dry completely and I'm pulling on the thread and yeah, it still didn't work. <laughs> the only traces of the thread that I have is where it dropped onto those shapes that were incredibly wet. The uh, rest of the thread that fell on the dry paper did not leave traces that were uh, good enough to use as is. So I looked at the piece and I thought, well, there's my third attempt, another failure. Womp, womp. <laughs> Let me just uh, do something else instead. So I left it to the side and I was going to redo the project and I'm like, that does not satisfy me. <laughs> I know I can fix it. <laughs> I, as you know, I love recycling. And to me, this was a call for um, recycling. So I started looking at it because the, the, the reason why I was using the thread was that I wanted to have a, um, a representation of the thread or a painted the thread going through these shapes sort of like to give the illusion that we are all connected we are all masses but we're all connected by this thread and i thought well okay i kind of have the ghost image of a thread so let me see if i can doodle if i let me see if i can bring it back to life with my marker and i did and it worked and it was joyful <laughs> and so I, I mean i've doodled lines before so this is nothing new and that's why I wanted to take a different route and introduce another element to the mix. Had I not done that, I would have just probably drawn a thread that was not as interesting as this one. Uh, because it's got a lot of detours in it. And that's also a very good metaphor. I'm just looking at it and I'm examining this painting, which I thought was meaningless. And I'm looking at this and I'm like, wow, there's a lot of stories you can thread. Ooh! <laughs> Ah, another pun. <laughs> There's another story you can tre thread in there. Um, the thread going through the shapes. We're all connected. And, but there's a lot of detours. There's a lot of kinks in the thread. Ooh. So this was Deep Thoughts with Cece. <laughs> oh boy. Um... <laughs> It's very late at night. This is what happens when I do voiceovers late at night. Nevertheless, I hope you've enjoyed this. And I'm thinking of doing other experiments, introducing different elements in the mix. Because, I mean, watercolor is always going to be my my main thing. And, and doodling, of course. Since I've discovered the two of them together, I can't get enough but um maybe do something else with you know i've tried the thread <laughs> that i mean it was an experiment by the way if you have had success with what i'm trying to do uh let me know let me know the real steps because i'm interested uh but i'm thinking maybe introducing i don't know maybe uh, I know the cellophane uh, wrap thing did not work for me. I've tried it in the past, but I'm not opposed to trying it again. Just to uh, experiment some more with, with different uh, texture, I guess, on watercolor. I've heard some people use aluminum foil as well. So that could be interesting. Anyways, that is that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Don't worry about me. <laughs> Things are good. Things are good. Anyways, <laughs> thanks so much for watching. I want to thank, of course, my awesome patrons who are uh, supporting uh, me financially over at Patreon. They're supporting this arti artist boop, blue, artistic journey <laughs> that I'm on. <laughs> Maybe I should go on a journey to bed right now. That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Uh, thank you all so very much for watching. <laughs> Please stay creative and I will see you soon.
Yay, I just woke up from a nap. <laughs> and I couldn't leave without talking about gold. Um, I dropped some dots with gold and I didn't like them because it was just too confusing with the other dots. So I decided to turn the gold dots into gold bars. I did that a few weeks ago, I think. A couple of weeks ago, maybe. Yeah. Um, I kind of like that. Not the dots I'm doing, <laughs> but the bars. Alright, I'm going to bed.